What's up? Hey. You're looking good. Two of the heaviest hitters in the country, Mike Tyson and Roseanne, came together for an incredible rendezvous, and Inside Edition was there. As Iron Mike trained in Las Vegas, we got a first hand peek at the toughest man in the world. And our tour guide was none other than Roseanne, the undisputed champ of prime time. They're going to be shocked and amazed when they see I you. I believe that's true. Uh, listen, what, it's, when it's they brilliant. see me uh, boxing with Mike, oh, they're it's going to be, be great. It's While Roseanne has had many roles in her career, this is her first shot as interviewer. And Mike Tyson was thrilled to be her first subject, allowing her a glimpse into his very private life. First stop on the tour, Mike's Las Vegas house. The Tyson Mansion sprawls over 11,000 square feet and cost over $5 million. <gasps> Look at that rug, that is so beautiful. The champ bought the home shortly after his release from prison in 1995. Evidence of his jailhouse conversion to Islam is everywhere. I just wanted to have something there that represented what I really believed in. And Roseanne met the resident house cat, a rare white Bengal tiger named okay. Kenya. One minute they lick you and they may take a chunk at you, then 20 minutes later they may come and lick you. So you gotta be, you know, you have to be very, very cautious with them. Roseanne snooping around in our kitchen. It's a very um, utilitarian kind of kitchen with no frills, kind of like in a restaurant. Do you think we could look in his fridge? Yeah. Let's go see what he's really eating, because he's kind of in training a little. Oh, Coke and Diet Coke and water. That's great. Oh, it's just pretty cool. Pretty cool. Coffee mate light. Is it diet dressings or no, they're all fat. That's good. And a fireplace thing, that's neat. Grilling, grilling chicken or steaks, I can. Fat fryers, uh-uh, just like at McDonald's, look it. We can make his own french fries. But Roseanne didn't come to Las Vegas just to look around. She came to do what she does best, talk. She brought out a side of the heavyweight champ we rarely see, and she opened up to Mike as well. You know, when I was being a waitress, I'd be like, they go like, how much is it? I, go, I bring the tray of drinks, and I'm like, OK, it's uh, $7 for a drink, another 3 bucks for me to take it out of the tray and give it to you. You know, then I'd pocket that money. And that's how I got really good tips. And they're like, you're funny, you're funny. At the heart of this meeting was something both the comedian and the pugilist hold dearest, their pride in their kids. How many kids do you have? Two. Mike's newest child is his eight-month-old daughter, Raina. Raina's mother is Monica Turner, a recent graduate of Georgetown Medical School. Mom and the baby live in Maryland. I love her. It's just awesome. She looks like so much like you, too. She's awesome. Especially in the middle picture, she looks like She's you. She's awesome. Awesome to awesome. She's standing up. Holding and, on. And she says a word. Baby. She says baby and stop. <laughs> She's beautiful. So cute. Our family, you know, it's so ironic because my, my children will be the first um, generation of probably Tysons that weren't never on welfare or anything. And I always look at that as soon as to me, other people may say, well, what do you expect? God, like, you make so much money and you did this thing, I suppose. But to me, that's a big thing. My son is 18, mm -hmm. and he's the first person in my entire family ever who graduated from high school. You know you will go through living hell when she's a teenager over all that, and she brings that guy home that you don't like, and you I'm know thinking, she will do that. I miss, you know what I think? I'm just hoping that I don't have to kill him. Yeah. I always, I always think, I said, well, I hope not to kill him. Like, me and her mother, we joke and laugh. I said, well, we just hope that we don't have to kill this guy. you got about 15 years, so you'll be 45. You'll be around my age when all this stuff is. I hope you still be in shape that you can, like, scare the guy. I was thinking about that, too. I hope there's going to some young, no one has to bring some young 6'4 monster, be a guy 15 years old, yeah. 280, 6'4. She's going to bring your worst nightmare right into your face. Yeah, guys that's like me. Your worst nightmare. Hi, Mr. Tyson, sir. Hi. It's a pleasure meeting you. I'm a great fan of you, sir.